This is the Star News Brief. I'm Susan Kiprono. President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM boss Raila Odinga plotting a unanimous approval of the Constitution Amendment Bill 2020 by MPs in a show of might against law change critics. The Star has established that the duo has directed the parliamentary leadership to pull all stops to ensure that the Bridges Bill is endorsed by over two-thirds of the membership in both houses. According to the plan, the numerical strength would be a political message to DP William Ruto and his Tanga Tanga Brigade who have been claiming that the push has no grassroots support across the country. Country. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You could soon be forced to pay your spouse or child for being violent towards them in new tough laws. In the new rules, the government is seeking to provide that perpetrators compensate victims of domestic violence for personal injury and financial loss. Domestic violence takes the forms of physical, sexual, emotional, social, verbal, spiritual and economic abuse. It will be applicable where violence leads to trauma, psychological damage and damage to movable or immovable property. An affected spouse or child may file a claim for compensation where there's any possibility of damage or loss as a result of an act of domestic violence. With more than 105,000 Kenyans having tested positive to COVID-19 and 1,856 lives lost, it is smiles at last as the first batch of vaccines arrive in the country. According to Health CS Mutahi Kagwe, the vaccines are expected at the JKIA on Tuesday or Wednesday. UNICEF will support the transportation of the vaccines to the country's airport, with the government expected to make arrangements to take them to the central vaccine stores in Kitengela. The stores in Kitengela are expected to hold enough stocks of the COVID-19 vaccines that could take the country to almost the end of the year. Treasury CS Okuriatani faces an uphill task to persuade members of parliament to increase debt ceiling from the current 9 trillion shillings. Senators have placed tough conditions for the CS ahead of the expected request to parliament by the Treasury to raise a capping to cater for budget deficits. The CS has stated that he would soon be seeking parliament's nod to increase the capping from the current 9 trillion that was last set by the August House in October 2019 to about 12 trillion. The lawmakers want Yatani to present a proper debt management strategy and clearly state the purpose for borrowing before they entertain any request to raise the ceiling. Kenyan small-scale farmers have sued, seeking to stop the government from entering into a trade pact with the UK. The farmers want public participation in relation to the pact to be conducted at the grassroots level so that everyone's views are captured. The agreement, among other things, reduces tariffs on imports of products for a period of 25 years. The trade deal will also mean reduction of 10% duty on intermediate goods after seven years from the time of its ratification. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You can also get more on The Star website.